Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a message coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Luke chapter 13, verses 35 through, no, verses 34 through and 35. So this is Luke chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her broad under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So the revelation there is someone who the Father has been sending people to. Not just one person, not just two people, not just three people, but the, the Father has sent someone, numerous amounts of people, and not just any type of people. The Father has been sending this person prophets. God ordained people. This, the Father has been sending this person because the Father yearned, okay, to get this person together, to get this person up under his wings, to take care of this person and to protect this person. The fa- this is something that the Father yearned to do for this person. And what does it mean to yearn? To have an intense feeling of longing for something, typically something that one has lost or has been separated from. 222. So this is someone that the father has had lost. This is someone that has separated themselves from the father. This is somebody that the father wanted to go back and get. This is one that got away. This is one that got lost, one of his sheep, one of his children. And the father wanted to save you. And he sent people, he sent his own children to come and help you, to come and save you. Because... He longed to save you. You are his child. And he knew that you were lost. And he wanted to come and he wanted to come save you. He no longer wanted you to be separated from him. Like a father missing his son or a mother missing her daughter. Like feeling like your daughter or your son is lost and you're separated from him. And you want to do everything in your power to get them back. To let you know, to let them know that you love them and there's nothing that you wouldn't do for them. How much you miss them and how much you want them to come home. And how hard you tried to find them and look for them and how you never gave up on them. And how no matter how much time went by, you still sent people and sent people and sent people to search for them, to look for them, to bring them back home. This is how the father feels about someone. He sent person at the person at the person to come find you. He sent his own children to come find you. The father came to look for you. Okay. He left 99 to come and find you himself. This is how much he loved you. This is how much he didn't want to be separated from you. This is how much he didn't want you to be lost. The father was longing for you. The father loves you. However, although the father wanted to bring you back and and shelter you and put you under his wings and protect you, You were unwilling. You were unwilling to return to the Father. You were unwilling to come back home. 
could you imagine how that would feel to a mother or a father after they found their child and their child did not want to come back home to them, with them? Their father, their child refused to return home to them after being lost, after being with so many dangerous people who didn't, didn't care about them, who didn't love them, who were going to mistreat them, use them and abuse them. And you as their parent, you knew that and your child still refused and was unwilling to return home with you until you after you found them, after you searched high and low for them. They still refused to return home with you. They wanted to stay with the people who were going to use and manipulate and abuse them. Could you imagine how that would hurt a parent if you have any children? This is how the father feels about this person. Okay? Jerusalem, Jerusalem. You who kill the prophets and stone those who sent I sent to you, not only were you unwilling to return home with the Father and 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 walk away from those who hurt, used, and abused and mistreated you, but those who the Father sent to you to help you, to heal you, to bring you back home, you hurt those people. You hurt those people that the Father sent to help you, to heal you, to take care of you, to watch over you, to watch after you, to show you unconditional love. You hurt those people, stone those people, try to even unalive some of those people. And all the Father was trying to do was protect you and to send people to do the same thing. And you hurt those people and you hurt the father. Verse 35, behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the the time comes when you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the father. The father says he is about to abandon your house at this time. One, two, three. The time is one twenty three. The father said he is about to abandon your house at this time. And what does it mean to abandon? To cease to support or to look after. To cease to support or to look after. To give up completely. Okay, so the father says he is about to abandon your house. He is about to relinquish, resign, surrender, wave, and yield. To give up completely. Okay? The father is about to cease to support and look after your home. And he is saying he is going to do this. Until the time that you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The father says he is going to do this until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Those people that you hurt, that he sent after you to come and help you and take care of you and nurture you back to health. Those people, until you say, blessed are they. The father says he is going to continue to abandon your home. That means he is going to continue to cease to support or look after your home. He is going to give up completely on your home. He is going to relinquish rights, resign, surrender over your home. He is waving all his rights to your home until you say out of your mouth, Blessed are those who come in the name of the Lord. The Father is not playing with you. Until you say, blessed are those people who came to help you, who came to save you out of destruction and pulled you out of destruction. Until you say, blessed are they, 
the Father will continue to abandon your home. And that is the message. Peace.